guys, welcome to Designer Savvy. This is Nancy and welcome to my garden. I'm tired of being inside, decided to come outdoors today and thought you all would like to come outside with me. If this sounds interesting to you, then stay tuned. <laughs> take you in for a closer look I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do with these I think these plants are called frogs um, just not a real big fan I actually transplanted these in here they were around front and I transplanted them in here last year and they just they didn't bloom very much they actually get this is what blooms right here on top um, the foliage is pretty though and then actually this right here is mint I do want to leave that and love that and then I had tomatoes and that on, on that back side that you see there and then these were let's see I had some daisies in here and I forget what those are they actually bloom in the evening so we're going to pull out all of this dead stuff and I'm probably going to dig these up and then I'll decide what I'm going to do from there. The first thing I'm going to do is I am going to rake all the loose, dry, and dead plant debris in the garden and that makes it easy for when it comes time to hoe then I can do that more easily and another thing is you want to know what's under that thick debris in your garden there are lots of snakes outdoors although I've never seen one in my garden and it's just a safe thing to do before you start getting your hands down close to anything on the floor of the garden so all of the yard waste went in the yard waste can and that gets picked up every week and now that everything is raked it is time to start hoeing the reason for hoeing is i want to get the plants up by the roots if you leave the roots in the ground then you're going to have regrowth from existing plants since i'm getting rid of most everything out of that garden from last year that's most helpful Hoeing just makes the job easier when you are pulling plants up with your hands. I'm also making sure that as I do this, I dig down into the dirt about three inches because I need to till the soil up really, really well and it needs to be a fine powdery consistency and texture as that helps the plants grow better. So once I'm through hoeing and all the debris is removed then I'm going to go back to raking again that's just another way to help dissolve the hard lumpy dirt clods that are there and plants much prefer a fine um, powdery soil and another thing you can still see a little bit of debris there that maybe got turned under as I was raking previously and that helps bring that to the top of the surface so I can get rid of that as much as possible it just took three easy steps for me to do this project today. First step is to rake, and then the second step is to hoe, and the third step is to rake again. So what do you guys think? Not bad for an hour's worth of work. I'll add the decorative touches later when the weather gets a little bit warmer and stays that way. And I'm trying to decide what I'm going to plant in here. I think I want it to be a vegetable garden instead of a flower garden. Although I do have, um, I think it's maybe a night blooming primrose. I've got to double check with mom on that. So you can get a sneak peek. See that door back there? Well, that's all I'm going to show you right now. Got that from Habitat. On the other side of that glass is gorgeous scrolled ironwork, and that is going to be part of my garden decor. So that's your sneak peek. 
All right, that is all for today. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed playing outside with me. Have a fantastic day, and you all stay safe.